In this video, we'll be showing you how to rip CDs to your Winamp Media Library. And what I mean by ripping is essentially transferring songs from a CD to your computer. So if you have a large CD collection and you want to have those CDs available on your computer, Winamp, like most media players, will let you copy those songs to your computer's hard drive. So this means you can listen to your entire collection without having to actually physically pop in a CD. And it also means that you can create your own playlist with using uh, just individual tracks from different albums. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is pop in an audio track into Winamp. As you can see here, I've already done that. Um, it says audio CD. Had I not had a CD in already, this would be labeled differently. It would be labeled CD recorder. But in any event, what you'll need to do is make sure that Winamp's open, you're on the Media Library tab, and that you click on either CD recorder or, as it's labeled here, audio CD. Once you've done that, Winamp is going to start reading the disk, and you're going to see a list of numbered tracks appear on the right here. And we use GraceNote to automatically populate the artist information, so the album name, the artist name, and the track names. If you want to override this information for whatever reason, right-click anywhere in the window. From this drop-down menu, you can select Edit CD Information. And then here, you can make changes to all of the basic information. So you can change the title, the artist, the year, the genre, or anything you'd like to change, as well as changing out the uh, artwork. But I'm going to hit Cancel and just leave all the default settings. Uh, another option that I have before ripping the CD, I could um, select from the bottom of the screen here the Ripped button and then choose CD Ripping Preferences. And here I have a bunch of different preferences at my disposal. I can change the uh, encoding format to select the format that I would want to wish to uh, convert all of these songs to. The default is AAC, but I could choose AAC+, Plus. I could choose FLAC. Um, Wave, WMA. There's a whole list of options here, but I'm going to leave the default. Uh, I could also change the maximum speed at which uh, Winamp's going to rip the CD. And I can also change the destination folder for the rip tracks to be placed in. So I can leave the default setting, which is my music, or I can change it to another location. But I'm going to go ahead again and leave all the default settings. But if you'd like to make any changes, you do have the ability to uh, update the preferences. and Right now, we can do one of two things. We can rip the entire album, so there's 16 tracks, or we could just rip a couple of the tracks. So if I wanted to rip the entire album, I click on Rip, and then Rip All Tracks, and all 16 tracks will be uh, put into my Winamp Media Library. If I wanted to simply uh, rip two or three tracks, I could click on them. By holding Control, I can click on the two or three tracks that I wanted to add. So click Control, select the track, and then at the bottom of the screen, again, click on Rip, and then Rip Selected Tracks. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll get a pop-up box here that's just telling me that I currently have the standard free version of Winamp, but if I chose to upgrade to Winamp Pro, Winamp Pro allows me to uh, rip the songs to the MP3 format. It also allows me to burn and rip at a faster rate, and finally, it offers uh, Winamp support. Um, you can choose to upgrade if you'd like, or you can just stick with the basic free version, which is what I have. And I'm going to go ahead and hit RIP. And in a couple seconds, you'll see the status bar pop up showing how far along these songs are in the queue. So right now, this particular song is already 12% um, through the, um, the encoding or the ripping process. And once it's completed, both of these songs will now be in my media library under the audio tab and I could also look for them under the recently added so just earlier before this demonstration I added a couple other songs from this particular album and once these two songs are done encoding they'll also be placed in the recently added items so that's it pretty quick tutorial hope you enjoyed it we'll be back soon